In particular, they've been working really hard. So. What, what, what's the biggest thing you're looking for out of your safeties uh, coming out of the spring? Well, I think uh, I think they showed great leadership uh, this spring, and uh, you know, with Kayvon and Tanner, just to continue to uh, continue to improve. And uh, you know, last year was their first year really to start. Both of them did really good, so I love that experience coming back from those two, and then uh, developing some more depth. Uh, you know, with Nolan and uh, Denzel coming back there, and as well as Isaiah, who's going to be playing some nickel. And some safety. How important will it be to be able to keep Kayvon at safety and not have him move him around based on injuries? And it's going to be huge. He needs to he needs to settle in there at that strong safety position for us. And uh, you know, really proud of Kayvon the way he came along last year. Got thrown in the uh, NC State game and you know, really uh, won the game for us there with the interception at the end. And then just took off with it and did extremely well. Waited patiently for his turn. Uh, really proud of him. And, uh, but he's going to have to be a mainstay there at that safety spot. Coach, when you talk about Tanner Muse, what do you tell Tanner his biggest uh, uh, that needs to be coming into the season? I think that uh, man-to-man coverage is something that, uh, that we've really worked on with him. His straight line speed, the kid runs a 4 three forty. He's unbelievable fast, uh, but he loves to hit. And uh, so sometimes he gets his eyes off, off, uh, off his keys and, and comes off and tries to make big hits. We got to work on that coverage aspect of it. He's a big play uh, kid. Last year was his first year to start, and uh, I think that experience is going to really, really show this year. You're going to see a major improvement there in his coverage skills because he can he can cover as good as anybody. Talk about safety, the body differences. You see guys going in there at five ten, and you got a guy like Isaiah going in there at six four. You know, big lanky guy or a short guy that's got got speed and able to to, to uh, pick care of a zone. How do you decide what you're going to put in there for a particular game? Yeah, to, to me, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, Van Smith was 5'11", you know, and uh, Ryan Carter was 5'9". Uh, I think it just depends on guys that can show up and play and make plays. Um, it starts with an understanding of our defense. You know, uh, we, run a, we run a pro-style defense, and I think it's important for the guys to, number one, understand the defense, but you got to be able to cover you got to be able to tackle. We have a field safety and a boundary safety, so we kind of have two different body types. So in run situations, you may want a, a, more of a Tanner Muse in there, and then in passing situations, you may want, uh, you know, you want more of a, like a Kayvon Wallace. But um, all in all, you'd like for both of them to be able to play both sides. I don't think, you know, and then you got Isaiah, who is obviously 6'5 and runs like a deer. Um, you know, those are, those are hard to find, but... Uh, you know, being able to cover, being able to tackle, I don't think the size matters as much as the, the hips and the flexibility. Uh, the, their ability to change direction is so important nowadays because of all the, uh, the passing game and what they're doing in the passing game. You've got to be able to cover. So you've got to have a safety that can cover no matter what size they are. How much of a luxury is it for a secondary to have maybe the, the best pass rush in the country? Oh, that's that's a uh, that's a defensive back's best friend is a, is the defensive line and, and being able to get pressure on quarterback. You know, the the less time he has to get the ball off, the better it is for us on the back end. You know, we just got to make sure on the back end that we do our job and uh, you know that we don't have any mental bus. You know, that's my goal, and that's the biggest improvement we've had. You know, last year I think we finished you know fifth in the country of teams giving up plays of more. 20 yards or more, which was a huge improvement from, I think we were like 100 or 60 or something like that uh, in years past. So really proud of their improvement. And that, that's the big thing. I mean, football is a game. And you got to know what your role is in the game. And you got to know what to do in the game. So it's my job to make sure that they, they know exactly uh, what to do and where to go. We've got plenty of athletes. we got plenty of safeties. With, with body types that are different but are very capable of playing the position if they know what to do. You mentioned Nolan Turner earlier, coming off a little bit of an injury. And uh, tell us about Nolan and what attributes he brings to the position. Nolan is a lot more athletic than people, than people think. He's a guy that runs a 4-5 in the 40, but he's got great change of direction and great flexibility and great hips. Um, he's a smart player and he's learned to play both positions. So he can play. He can play in the boundary, and he can play in the field. 
you saw last year uh, against Louisville, uh, you know, being able to tackle that quarterback that they had, he, you know, I mean, he formed him up in the open field and he got him down. So he's very, very capable. I mean, he's six foot two, uh, 200 pound safety that can run. So I, I'm really excited about him. Now he's coming off of a torn labrum, uh, which he's he's healed up from, and it'll be and it'll be cleared for practice when we when we put the pads on. So excited about him and getting that opportunity. You know, I played with his dad in college, and his dad was an amazing uh, running back for us. And then, of course, went on and played in, in, uh, in the NFL for several years. So that one's going to be a good one. Tanner fully healthy. Tanner's fully healthy. He's healed up from that knee. And, and, uh, and he's doing great, running great. Uh, he's lost a little bit of weight, which I think will help him uh, in his man-to-man -man coverage. Stuff. Has that been frustrating for him dealing with that just the nagging kind of injury? Yeah, he's had, yes, and you would never know it because he's such a tough kid and such a team player. He just he just goes about his business every day, and uh, you would never know his frustration, but I'm sure it gets to him, you know. Are you going to try to steal some ball camp reps from Kyler McMichael and Mario Goodrich at safety? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. In particular, Kyler McMichael. He's a guy that can play. He can play both corners. He can play both safeties. He can play the nickel position and the dime. So Kyler's a guy that, that can do it all. And, uh, you know, we're hoping Mario can, can really step into one of those corner positions as well as Kyler. I mean, it's, it's wide open for both of them. But we're going to need some depth. We're going to need some help. Uh, from one of those guys that say, when you guys talk about DB recruiting, you and Coach Reed, I mean, if you look at the recruiting classes lately, you guys are getting some pretty big DBs. 